Um, I understand uh, the legal opinion that you got from the city regarding the city code. Um, I'm really, really disappointed that that is the way that you're choosing to view the code. Um, I've been at all of these hearings. I, I don't think that this developer has answered the question um, that is in the code, which um, uh, Mr. Spector referenced, that um, they need to demonstrate that this development will create a favorable economic, social, and economic impact on the city. Um, the other thing I want to um, just um, say to the legal opinion is that um, I think it's a really narrow definition of the city. I think the way that you're choosing to look at the city, when you look at community benefits, and you know, we're not necessarily demanding ACBA. We want the, this developer to have to sit down with us. We want a different kind of a process where the community has some way of having input in the, the planning of neighborhoods in our city. And I also want to um, just echo what Mr. DeSanta said, that 10 years ago when this plan was first made, it was a really, it was a much more inclusive process. It was a much more well-developed plan. I think there's some real differences between the plan that was put together then and what's before you now. And I, I wonder why city planning has not like done a careful review of that. Um, but back to the definition of the city, like what, I, what I'm understanding um, the city solicitor would be saying is that um, all that you are to consider is whether or not um, this in very broad way has a positive social, economic, and environmental impact on the city. And I really think you're looking at the city as a destination for suburbanites and not as um, a place where people live and work. <laughs> and I would urge you to try to... <laughs>